All right, welcome back everybody to another DeFi tutorial. This is gonna be a really good one. It's covering a really important concept, which was actually one of the first things that I learned when I started trading and took Dr. Wish's class back in uh, early of 2019. And I think it's something foundational that every single person should master as they go through um, you know, learning to trade, whatever their style is, whether uh, they're intraday, whether they're a long-term position trader, investor, the concept that we'll be talking about today, which is stage analysis, is fractal, meaning it occurs on all time frames because it's a function of supply and demand and how markets move. So in this tutorial, we'll be talking about stage analysis, going through a bunch of examples and discussing the stage analysis indicator that we have here in the DFU platform that makes it that much easier to identify the stages and know when to buy, when to sell, when to look for opportunities, uh, when to you know avoid a stock. Uh, it's very clear cut, nice and visual as well as you can see right here and uh, just makes it that much easier to trade using stage analysis. So first things first, stage analysis was developed by Stan Weinstein, uh, someone who I've had a pleasure, the pleasure of talking with uh, substantially as we did a masterclass together. And it basically looks for those longer term cycles, usually on a weekly chart uh, that describe kind of whether uh, long term institutions are accumulating or distributing stock. Um, early in a stock's life cycle, there'll be a stage one where the stock pretty much oscillates from left to right, um, just kind of forming out a longer term base. Maybe there's an inverse head and shoulders in there. Uh, then from there, we see a breakout through a line of resistance, ideally on huge volume or at least above average. And that starts a longer term uptrend where institutions who have been accumulating during stage one and, and kind of forming this pattern, making the stop bottom, uh, stock bottom uh, continue to accumulate other uh, you know entities and individuals and uh, institutions continue to accumulate during this trend and the stock begins to rise above rising 10 week moving average uh, 40 week moving average and starts an uptrend then eventually we start to lose steam momentum um, and we start undercutting those moving averages and enter more of a stage three and if there is significant enough distribution and the overall market is often pretty weak uh, during, during these periods, uh, we'll undercut the moving averages and kind of have the reverse of that longer term uptrend and start a downtrend below the declining 10 week and 40 week moving averages. These declines, um, you know, it's a, it's a trend, so we just have to kind of wait and see until it ends. But often they're short, more short term um, and short lived rather than the uptrends and we want to be involved to the long side during the stage two uptrends and either avoid the stock or be shorting during these downtrends. Now, the indicator here, I'll kind of walk through the different colors. Uh, you know, early stage two is kind of a pale green. It then gets into a deeper green as the trend progressive and really takes hold. Um, stage three is kind of identified by uh, streaks of white and yellow that show up. And then stage four is that, you know, deeper red color, pink color hair. Um, and then we, you know, if the market turns around, if the stock turns around as well, and if another in enough institutions are accumulating, we see it transition back from stage four to a stage uh, one and then stage two and kind of restart that overall cycle. Uh, so this is perfect for um, both longer term investors and active position traders, but also for swing traders, we want to be involved in stocks that have the wind at our backs with the institutions accumulating shares, and we want to be focused on stocks in strong stage twos, buying the base breakouts, riding the short term trends within this longer term trend. So like I said, this is useful, whatever your style may be. Uh, maybe you're even an intraday day trader. You just want to be involved as a stock is kind of resuming uh, the uptrend uh, from a well-constructed base within an overall long-term uptrend. That's going to place the odds in your favor uh, and uh, you know improve the potential of the trade where you can get a nice quick move. Uh, maybe if you're an intraday trader, you're exiting that first breakout day. Um, and if you're a swing trader, you're holding for a few weeks. And if you're a position trader, you're trying to hold for that longer term move, uh, either from a base or from the start of a stage two uptrend. Um, so that's pretty much a breakdown of the stages, both using the moving averages um, and whether we're above or below a rising or declining uh, 10 week or 40 week moving average. Um, and then also using the stage analysis indicator uh, using the coloration, you know, very simply 
Green means we're starting a stage two uptrend. Red is a stage four decline and we wanna be avoiding stocks there and uh, looking for stocks just starting or already you know, undergoing a strong stage two uptrend. So um, I highly recommend uh, that, you know, we're gonna go through a few examples today, but I highly recommend you go back in time, look at the biggest winners from each year and you know what stage they were in when they made their major moves. And most likely uh, they that was within a strong stage two uptrend. Um, and even the greatest stocks ultimately, you know, falter and fail. And those periods are almost always in a strong stage four decline. Uh, if we go to Peloton, uh, which is a great kind of textbook example of the, the stage analysis um, you know, cycle, we've got the stage two uptrend while it was good in 2020, then we lose momentum. Stage three begins just in February of 2021. Uh, we form lower highs, we undercut the moving averages, the moving averages start declining. And this, all of this is a stage four decline. There's a little bit of respite. We try to form a stage one and move out but we kind of resume that stage four and we just continue to fall. And if we go from where we start and undercut that 10 week and start this stage three, we're dropping 97% from highs um, over the course of you know the next two years or so during the stage two uptrend when it really got underway on this move right here. If we even take the close of that week, we had an increase of 272%. So we wanna be involved during stage two uptrends and avoid or short during these stage four declines. You never know how destructive, destructive they can be. Uh, this cycle often leads um, fundamentals uh, because institutions do great research and they're kind of selling their shares up here, distributing stock uh, even before the rest of us get the information or uh, know-how and research that you know Peloton is losing steam as a company and they're selling shares up here in the last move up um, and during the stage three and stage four leading to this strong decline. Zoom again, a really nice, another uh, textbook example. Started the stage two way back in here, way back in February of 2020, and advanced strongly until the stage three, 477%. Stage three right here started highlighted in yellow, um, and then we started the stage four. It was a little bit sloppy here. This stage three can be more extended and can last quite a while. Um, and then the stage four really took hold back, back in here. And even from the undercut of this low down here, um, we've declined consider considerably off the highs. Uh, we were down about 78%. Uh, and now we're just kind of back in a stage four slash stage one, where maybe we're forming out a base here uh, near these lows, but we haven't yet started a new stage two uptrend, which you'd be waiting for if you're looking to get involved in Zoom. Uh, personally, I pair stage analysis with all my other uh, lenses that I like to look at a stock. Uh, so I'm looking for a leading theme, a leading group, um, a strong catalyst news event that's going to propel a company forward. Uh, Zoom, you know, uh, it's kind of old news. It's part of a theme that was popular back in 2020. But now I'm kind of looking for what's the leading themes of today. You know, semiconductors, AI, um, you know, those themes are in vogue right now. That's what institutions are accumulating versus, you know, something like Zoom isn't really of interest. Um, even if it did start a stage two uptrend, the potential isn't quite there relative to a stock that's in a leading theme and group. And Stan Weinstein mentions that many, many times as a key focus of his book that he's looking for uh, leading stocks in leading groups and sectors. So that's a very important thing to remember. Some more recent strong examples, we've got ELF, uh, which started a stage two uptrend way back in June 20 of 2022. This is actually one of the uh, first leading stocks out of the bear market. Uh, you can see the stage four is actually relatively uh, short lived here with this stock. But if we take this to even this base, which was highlighted as a stage three, as we broke below that to make moving average, uh, that was a good 271%. We resume the stage two up here and um, let's see, gain another 80% or so, and now we're kind of back forming a base. Uh, so the stage threes will highlight the base. Uh, Stan Weinstein himself prefers to be in a stock when it's holding that 10 week moving average, but for longer term investors that 40 week, you can see we found support in this area. That can be another really excellent guide. So depending on your time frame, if you're a more active position trader, maybe you're exiting at the 10 week or at least selling some. If you're a longer term investor, maybe you're waiting for um, you know a few weeks of a stage four decline. So you can try to capture that longer term move hold for you know tax purposes if that trend is continuing um, and just looking to play that that longer term larger move while more active traders are trying to play you know the short-term swings from short-term consolidations on breakouts um, and you know 
that whatever your style, you can benefit from using your stage analysis framework as your longer term view of the trend. Um, App is another strong example, started stage two way back in here and has been a really awesome stock up 288% since then. And in DFU, you can run uh, screens using the stage analysis criteria. So not only do we have the indicator here, but you can also uh, screen for stocks in stage two, uh, screen for stocks in stage four if you'd like to find some shorts. Um, and this will show up right there on that screen. You could also add the component that volume on that week has to be above 200%, however you would like to do it. But you can see it broke through this line resistance and started that stage two, formed another base here, rebroke out. This is a continuation buy point. Um, and you know the ideal buy point for traders uh, per Stan Weinstein's uh, methodology. Uh, coin, this is another good example. Um, you know this is a little bit more erratic, um, but highlights the importance of you know even if you believe in a thesis. I know so many people um, believed in coin up in here. I actually traded it in this area, but then we started stage three, started stage four, and not until here did we kind of restart a stage one and then break out. And even here from these bases, this is where the move really got going. And we advanced about 231% from here during this stage two. But we want to be avoiding stocks in stage four, no matter what you think about the fundamentals, no matter what the news says, uh, the price action does not lie. That's the only opinion that really matters. And uh, if a stock is in a stage four, it's being distributed. And uh, we want to be you know, you know, out of it, uh, looking for other opportunities. There's always going to be a better opportunity uh, for longs than a stock that's in a stage four downtrend. So that is pretty much a, a run through of a uh, short run through of stage analysis and also using the deep view indicator to add it to your charts. What you want to do is click indicators and strategies. You can type in DV and then you can go ahead and find DV stage analysis and that will add it to your charts. Um, and let's delete one of these. Um, I personally don't like having it completely overlaid on my charts. Depending on your style, you may like that. I personally like to go ahead and click those three dots, click move to new pane above, and then kind of move it like this. And then as I'm, you know, space barring through different names, I can see cool, we're in a stage two uptrend. Uh, we're forming out a base, you know, it's a strong uptrend. Things look good. I'll look for an entry on the short term timeframes on the daily timeframe, which is my execution timeframe. Oh, here we're in a stage four downtrend. I should avoid this stock. And then, you know, it just will switch and give a nice kind of visual indicator of the trend uh, as you're going through ideas and watch lists or different screens. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this video. Again, uh, you can also screen by stage analysis. We'll have another video dedicated to that. Um, you can also add uh, stage analysis and it'll show the stage here in your data columns. You can also go ahead and add it to your columns if you would like to. Um, but you know, this, this tutorial here right now is just focused on the DVU indicator and we'll have another resource there for you guys showing how to do that. So uh, that's pretty much it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, let us know your thoughts and feedback down below. Uh, if you have any other topics that you'd like us to talk about uh, in a future tutorial, let us know. Uh, if you did enjoy, please go ahead and leave a like down below. It really helps us out and the channel. And of course, subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you're not already a DFU member, uh, we've got a special offer two months for $39 definitely a great deal that will be linked down below in the description as well as popping up right now. Uh, and with that, I'll see you guys in future videos. Take care.